hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about close window action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate inside the ui automation and then under the windows category you have an action which is called as close window right and what this action does is it closes a, a specific window right so here you will specify which window needs to be closed okay and you can select the window by window ui element by window instance and handle and by title and or class right so what i will do is i will use the by window ui element and i will work with notepad application right and in this action we have on error property right in on error property you can specify how many times you want to retry this action if this action gets failed okay the next option we have is new rule where you can set a variable when this action gets filled and you can also run a subflow if this action gets filled so if you select the run subflow you can come here and choose the subflow which you have created in your project because i have created exception handling in this case so exception handling i'm getting as an option here right i can click on clear all which will remove it and then you have continue flow run so you can specify whether you want to continue to the next action even if this action gets failed or you want to repeat this action or if you want to go to a specific label that you will declare using a label action but if you do not choose this continue flow run you can i mean this will be the default option for you throw error which means when this action gets failed it will just throw an error and it will stop the execution right so what i will do here is i will click on new rule and then i will click on run subflow and then i will choose the exception handling okay and then when it gives continue flow run right i will select the continue flow run and here i can specify what needs to be done so let's say if there is an error on this action then it should go to the next action after executing the exception handling subflow right and then i will click on save before clicking on save i will go to the return to parameters right and then here what i will do is i will select the window and as you can see the notepad application is opened right and i have to capture this window to capture this window i will click on this drop down and then i will click on and ui element now here you can see that there is a red circle around the window so what i will do is i will press ctrl and left mouse click and this window is captured now okay and then i will click on save before closing this window what i want to do is i want to focus this window which means i want to bring bring this window in the foreground right and here again i will choose the by window ui element and this selector is already there so i'll just choose it and then i will click on select now first what it will do it will focus that window which means it will bring that window into the foreground and then it will close it 
but before closing this window what I will do is I will go to the flow control and from there I will choose the wait okay so I want to wait for a few seconds before closing the window I will specify two seconds and then I will click on save right so this is done so what it is going to do is it will just focus the window first then it will close this window okay in the exception handling what I have done is it will give window was not found just in case there is an error on this close window action so if you click on this shield you know icon you will see this error property directly for that you don't need to you know open this close window action and then get into it but if you have not specified anything in the exception handling part or on error property of this action then this shield icon will not appear on your you know in the designer where you create your robot right I will click on cancel and then I will run this bot so the bot is running it will just first focus that window and then it will wait for two seconds and then it will close it as you can see the window is closed I have opened the notepad again now let's say if you want to you know close this window by title or class so you will just change the mode you will say title or class and then you will click on select window and then you will press control and left mouse click you can see that it has captured the title automatically right and then it has also captured the class as well for example if you think that the title can be you know it will have the title will have notepad for sure but anything before or after the notepad can be anything for that what you can do is you can choose the wild card characters which is star to replace zero or more characters and question mark to replace one character okay and for that what I have done is I have just said that if the title is having notepad keyword and there can be anything before and after that keyword then also I want to close that window in window class you know you can keep it empty also then it will just go ahead with the title and then close it close the window so I will click on save and then I will run the bot so it will first focus that window then it will wait for two seconds and then it will close that window as you can see it has closed that window okay now the next mode is to buy window instance and handle for that you need to have this handle how can you get a handle of an application okay for that what you will have to do is you will have to use the you will have to use the get window action okay I have opened the notepad now what I want to do is I want to select a specific window and then I will click on this drop down and then I will choose this selector okay and what I want to do is I want to bring this window to the front when it has got that window okay and then I will click on select so this window will be stored in the automation window 
variable and this is your handle okay now if i open this close window action and then i will click on this drop down you will see that i am able to find this automation window variable i will select it and then i will click on save now i will run the bot so now this bot is running it will just first get that window it will focus it right and then it will wait for two seconds and then close it right so this is how you can use close window action in power automate desktop and there are three modes right by which you can select a window you can specify which window you want to close right and this can be applied on you know if you want to if you know that there if you know the title of the window for example if you are working with a web browser right and you think that there can be you know already opened a web page and you know the title in that case you can specify the title in order to close that window if you don't know then you have an action in power automate which is named as terminate process so you will just type the terminate right and then so here i have this terminate process action right and here you can specify the process name for example in my case it is notepad okay i will click on save and i will just press a left mouse click to put a breakpoint and i will open the notepad you can see that notepad application is opened now i will run the bot so now the bot is running it will terminate that process so you can see that the notepad application is closed so this is how you can use close window action and terminate process action in power automate desktop so if you like this video please like it and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day